Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, then welcome for the first time. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul. It's not one of the biggest ones that I've done, but it's a pretty good size. So this video is going to be a little bit long. <laughs> it's going to be kind of mixed up. I haven't gone through the bags to sort out what is where, so we're just going to start going through one at a time. First, uh, I was super excited to find these. I did stop into a different store than what I normally go to. I was kind of disappointed. I went looking for their fall and Halloween decor. This store did not have hardly anything out yet. I think they only had like maybe five little bushes of fall flowers. But they did have some leftover summer stuff that I was not expecting to find this late in the season. And the first things that I found were these little hula skirts. And I was really, really hoping that I would be able to find them somewhere because these will be great for making little witches brooms and some other uh, Halloween decor that we have coming up in some videos. So I picked up four of these and they did have like two or three racks still full of them. Uh, next thing, this store had the square wreath forms. The store that I normally go to just has the foam wreaths and the round ones. Uh, like I said, they didn't have any other fall stuff out. I'm waiting and watching for when they start putting out the pumpkin wreath forms and the witch hats. Last year, I could not get in on the witch hats. Somebody bought them up before I got there, but I did get, I think, two of the pumpkin wreath forms. And so I would like to get some of both of those this year. Then they had the burlap ribbon. This is nine feet of ribbon with the little lace detail through the middle. I picked up two of those for doing some crafts. Uh, this store had the wood glue. My other one only has the tacky glue so far. They've not gotten this yet, so I did pick up one of these to try. Uh, my daughter finally used up all of her rainbow sprinkles that we had, so I picked up another thing of those. And that is a really good deal on sprinkles. I know if you go like places like Walmart, they're usually like $2 and up. Um, and then she found, I think the last time we went, she found some kind of like pastel crayons. This time she found, it's called Colors of the World. These are all of the skin toned uh, Crayola crayons. So then it shows you here on the side some of the different colors. Thought that was really cute and it was a dollar. We got school coming up. So then uh, before she had hauled a rainbow dream catcher, this time she found one in the shape of a unicorn's head. Now even if you're not into dream catchers or you don't want to use that, this would be something really good to pick apart for different projects. Like this little unicorn head could be used for anything. It is nice sturdy wire. And then you would have your multicolored strings. You get some beads on there and some little feathers. So always keep that in mind too when you find items at Dollar Tree. If it's not something that you want to use as is, are there pieces of it that will come in handy for other things? Because a dollar is cheap for craft supplies. Then I was able to find the planners. And I was super excited about that. That's what I actually went for today was looking for the planners. And then my grandmother wanted to grab a calendar. So... They had two different styles of the planners. They have the ones that have little design pages and then they had ones that were just plain pink and black and purple, I think. Uh, they are made a little bit different, the pages that are inside. I think they both have the same things. It's just that these ones have like your uh, conversion measurements and stuff in the back of the book. Gives you your little postal abbreviations. You have a place for notes back there. And then each of your months is set up where each day has several lines that you can write in what you want to do for that day. So I thought that was cute. I liked the floral pattern the best. Then uh, safety swabs. I'm out of Q-tips, so I needed some more. And these things are hit and miss at Dollar Tree. One time I'll go and they'll have a whole big old bin full of them. And then I can go back two or three more times and they don't have any. And then I have to go to a different store. So when I see them, I pick them up. I like these better than the regular cotton swabs because one time I was using a regular cotton swab from Dollar Tree and the freaking cotton piece broke off down inside of my ear canal and we had to get tweezers and try to pull it out. So I like the safety swabs. They're a little bit more durable, and you can't wedge them way down in your ear. So 
So then uh, my daughter picked up some more of these. I know she hauled, I think it was an airplane, either an airplane or a helicopter last time. So these are really cute. Um, I get, I don't like saying boys or girls toys. I mean, kids should play with whatever they're interested in. But I guess they would be more themed towards boys. It is a little build your own motorcycle and a build your own pickup truck. So it could fall along the lines of like STEM toys because it gets their hands moving and their brains working. They have to follow the instructions. But I thought those were really cool. And again, you know, Christmas is coming up. If you have kids with birthdays, this is something good just to add to a gift bag as a little extra thing. So she picked up one of each of those. Um, she has these little Barbie figurines. She's been looking for this mermaid and we couldn't find it oh, at any of our other stores. But she did find it today, so she picked it up. So I think she has the whole collection of those now, or close to it anyway. And then uh, she picked up one of these little fairy dolls. All right, next bag. Oh, my smoke alarms. My smoke alarms somehow all went out in the same three or the same week. Within three days, I woke up and the one in my kitchen was out beeping at me. So I took the battery out of it. I was like, okay, I need to grab a nine volt. The next day, I woke up and the one in my hallway was beeping. And then the day after that, the one in my living room was beeping. So I picked up new batteries for each of those, and they do take 9-volt batteries, which is kind of irritating. I know all the other ones that I used to have took, like, triple A batteries or double A batteries, but for these, you have to spend a dollar on each one. But they do last, I mean, about a year. They say you're supposed to change out your battery every six months. I'm not proactive about it. I wait until it starts screeching at me. So then my daughter needed some more uh, stretch elastic cording for like making jewelry and things and some other crafts. She went ahead and picked up one of those. You get four different colors and they are five yards each. So that's a pretty good deal on that. Then uh, this store had a lot of different uh, face masks that the ones I usually go to did not have. So let me find... These ones were different. These are called Stardust. They are by BioMiracle. So they had a green one. It says Soothing Peel Off Mask. So the green one says with tea tree, herbs complex, and nephrite for a clarifying complexion. I guess it is supposed to go on and look like a foil or something. I don't know how well it's going to work or how it's going to do my skin because I have sensitive skin and it kind of worries me if it has metal in it, how my skin will react, but I'm going to try it. I know I'll probably regret it later. And then they had it in purple, which is really, really pretty. So now the purple one says it is amethyst and super berry complex for glow and hydration. Then I found these ones. These are by... It says Spa April Bath and Shower. So this is a two-step mask. If you guys saw my last Dollar Tree haul, I found a two-step mask, um, which was like an exfoliating uh, liquid, and then you put the mask on. This one is a cleanser and then a mask. So step one is a green tea facial cleanser. Removes oil, dirt, and makeup buildup. And then step two is an activated charcoal face mask. So that it removes impurities that leave skin looking dull. And it is just like a uh, mud mask. Yeah, it's just a mud mask because I was worried if it was going to be one of those charcoal peel off masks that everybody said was like taking skin with it a while back. But this one says that it just gets rinsed off once it's sat on there. So then, uh, this one is not a face mask. This is a hand mask. Now, I did haul a hand mask from one of my discount stores, I think two months ago, possibly three months ago, and I did use them, and they were wonderful. They did help. I have my hands in water all day, either washing dishes, cooking when I'm cleaning. They get really, really dry and cracked. 
So today Dollar Tree had these. These are by Spa April Bath and Shower. And it is hand and nail gloves. So it says nourishing, softening, and uplifting. So I guess it is supposed to help like strengthen your nails. But also moisturize your hands and your nail beds. So I picked up one for myself and then one for my grandmother to try. So we're going to give those a go and see if they're as good as the other ones. And then uh, my grandmother picked up some more of these press-on nails. So she got... What brand are these? So this one here does not have a brand name on it. This one says it's by Sassy and Chic. So this one that is unbranded um, are stiletto nails and they just have like this orange, blue, and pink kind of geometric triangle pattern on them. And then these ones that say they're by Sassy and Chic are, uh, I guess just this, I think it's called sport length. They're the shorter ones. And then they are uh, blue and black. They just have some different designs on each one. Okay, this thing's heavy. All right, so then also back to the craft section. They had, um, they're just calling these wood hanging decor. It is this little wooden sign here with some uh, rope on it. But if you look, this thing is thick. It's like an inch thick, maybe a little bit over an inch thick of this, uh, I don't know if that's called chipboard or plywood, what it's actually made out of, but it is like, it's weighty, it's heavy. So we picked up two of those. And then uh, for doing some different floral arrangements around the house and decorating, I wanted some of the plain white filler rocks. Um, so I picked up two bags of these at Dollar Tree. I was trying to see if it says it's two pounds. So you get uh, two pounds worth. So I picked up two of those. Um, I needed some more sponges. This is what I use whenever I'm washing dishes and cleaning certain things around the house. Dollar Tree is the cheapest place to get them, and they work just as well as the ones that you pay more for at the other store. So you get six of them for a dollar. It has a little scrubby pad on one side and then your sponge on the other. These I picked up. Um, we're not actually using them for plates. These are for another Halloween craft that I'm going to be making. So from the party section, I picked up these black uh, plastic plates. I thought they were paper plates, but they are plastic. It is labeled on the front, which is even better. So you get, these are supposed to be, um, I guess like your dinner plate size. They had two different sizes. So they had bowls, they had little bitty like dessert plates, which are right here. And then they had these ones, which are bigger. So I picked up one package of each of those for that craft. So you get eight big ones and 12 little ones. And then I hauled last time the Icelandic glacial water from my other store. This store had them too. I did drink it and it was really, really good. It didn't taste like chemically like, like Dasani water. I used to drink Dasani, but it tastes like the plastic bottle that it's in. It's really gross. This just tastes like straight purified water. You don't get any hint like of metallic flavors or any funky plastic chemical kind of taste. It's just plain water. So I picked up one more each of those for us. Um, these ones are 500 milliliters. Now I did get the larger ones from the discount store. Whenever I go back there, I will see if they have the bigger ones again. And I will get some more of those as well but I just picked up three of the small ones for today. And then <laughs> this little bitty hand saw, I've been looking for one of these forever. I saw someone haul one a couple months ago and none of my stores got them in. And I've been looking everywhere and my daughter just asked yesterday to use my big hacksaw for cutting something that she was working on and it makes me nervous because I'm scared she's gonna run it over her hand. The little ones you have more control over and it has finer teeth on the saw blade. So I picked up one of these so whenever she's doing something small, 
She can work with this. Uh, she picked up another one of these color change pins. I remember those things used to be the crap when I was in school. Everybody had to have one of those, like fifth grade. Fifth grade, everyone had to have one of those pins, and then you would just sit and click it all through class. <laughs> so this is from Salon Selectives. This is an all-day plumping mousse, and it is supposed to be anti-frizz, weightless control, and curl defining. So this is a four ounce can. And then uh, my daughter wanted some of the 100% acetone for taking paint off of some things that she's working on. So I did find it at this store. Our other store does not have it. They just have the regular fingernail polish remover. So here you get a six ounce bottle. This is just says Bath and Beauty. So then uh, for that Halloween project I was talking about where I bought those black plates, I bought two of these black rectangle tablecloths. Now these are a plastic table cover. Um, they don't say what kind of plastic. I'm assuming it's probably like vinyl. But they are 54 inches by 108 inches. And I picked up two of them. I'm going to be cutting them up for some stuff. And then my grandmother wanted a calendar that she saw someone else show in a video on YouTube. And it is the 2022 Kittens and Cats calendar set. <laughs> Obviously, if you've watched any of our videos, we love cats. We have three cats. And one of them, Ginger, insists on getting into almost every single video and knocking things off the counter. So this is all of the pictures that are supposed to be in here on the back. I like that one right there. That is so cute. And this one here actually kind of looks like our cat, Ginger. So those are all the pictures that are supposed to be in there. Now, I'm not sure uh, what ones are supposed to be in the one that says cats, but this cat that's right here on the front looks just like our Maine Coon cat. So that's kind of neat. Okay, then uh, my daughter found this Minnie Mouse container. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. BPA for, I think this was in the food section. So it probably is for like kids snacks or something. She's going to use it to keep her little beads and things in that she crafts with. Then I found this mop head. Uh, this was the first time I've seen these at one of our stores. It's not at the ones that I normally go to. So uh, this was a microfiber mop head. Um, I'm not using it for a mop. I picked it up to use for some crafts that I have in mind. But I thought that was kind of neat to find there. If you're somebody who is looking for a mop though, you may want to look into that. And then I picked up this uh, microfiber duster mop. Again, I'm not using it for a mop. I already have one. I am going to be using this for some different crafts also. And then my daughter found some more scarves. So these are by Juncture. And this one is an infinity scarf and it just kind of has like this multicolored squares and dots on it. Then this one is this blue with this chevron pattern on it. And that is really, really pretty. Then she found this really nice um, teal color, just a plain teal that could go with pretty much anything. And then a nice plain navy blue. And this one, I'm partial to grays and neutral colors. I really like this gray one. Again, just a nice plain color. Now this one, these ones, uh, the solid colors are not infinity scarves, they're just regular. And then they started to put out 
some of their fall stuff, just not very much. So uh, in this section, they did have two scarves. So the first one is super duper cute. It has these little bicycles on it. It's in this nice tan color, got these nice fall blues and oranges and maroon colors. So I think that one is very, very cute. And then they have this one, which is a white background with all of these gorgeous fall flowers and acorns on it. So those will be nice just to wear in the fall. You can put them in your hair, around your neck. You can wrap them on a handbag or we can use them in some different crafts. Hopefully they'll be getting some more out pretty soon. I believe that was the last bag that we had from our Dollar Tree haul. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. Check out the rest of our videos that we have posted. Let a friend know that you think might enjoy our channel so that they can subscribe too. And we will see you guys in the next video.